Many of you have probably heard of David Delighton, but maybe you haven't. David Delighton is a journalist. And in the summer of 2015, he released shocking footage of an undercover investigation to expose the abortion industry for its complicity in fetal tissue trafficking. People will say that this is some grand conspiracy theory that it didn't happen. You're being gaslit. Okay, you are being absolutely gaslit by that. It's not just happening in California, reportedly, either. It's happening across the country. There are incentive structures that Planned Parenthood has with the governments and with other actors to supply them with fetal tissue for the purpose of experimentation and even profit. I have to say, reportedly, Um, but I would say that the reporting is pretty darn reliable and you're not supposed to care about that. You're not supposed to know about that, but we talked about some of that that is verifiable with Megan Basham, of course, our own NIH working with Planned Parenthoods in Pennsylvania to get fetal tissue for the purpose of experimentation on mice. And so this is just another part of that. David Delighton uncovered that again in 2015. He posed as a potential fetal tissue buyer and he captured video evidence uh, that showed prominent abortionists, Planned Parenthood executives and biotechnology companies were engaged in a systematic campaign to profit from the body parts of aborted babies. I just want you to pause and think about that for a second. And of course, this is in violation of state and federal laws. It is in violation to sell human tissue. That's actually why you hear that phrase egg donor or sperm donor. They are getting paid for that. So if you've ever paused to think like, wait, why are they called a donor? Because they are getting paid thousands and thousands of dollars uh, to sell their eggs. But they're not called egg sellers and sperm sellers because technically they are being paid for their time and their effort, not actually the egg or the sperm. Isn't that just absolute hogwash? That's, I mean, that's just crazy when you think about it, but it's because it is actually illegal to sell human tissue. Days after the video was posted, agents from the California Department of Justice armed with rifles and canine dogs raided his apartment on orders from then California Attorney General Kamala Harris to seize the video footage. Now, if this was really just all manipulated, if this wasn't real, because that's what we keep hearing, it was just, it was deceptively edited. It wasn't real video footage. Tell me why authorities from the state of California would have to seize the video footage. Harris claimed that Delighton had violated state laws by recording these videos. Now, did Kamala Harris also investigate Planned Parenthood to see if these things were true? To see if they really were trafficking body parts? Because wait, isn't the pro-choice side really about just my body, my choice? It's surely not about trafficking dead baby parts, right? It's not, it's not really about that. It's just about bodily autonomy. And so why would Kamala Harris want to cover up something like that? Why would she want to defend Planned Parenthood? Shouldn't she care if Planned Parenthood is corrupt, is doing something illegal? Hmm. It, it doesn't seem so. Because she never investigated Planned Parenthood for these allegations. Planned Parenthood executives in California had arranged for in-person meetings with Harris about the videos. Letters obtained from court documents show. Huh. I wonder what they asked Harris to do. And what they said they would do if she didn't do what they wanted her to do. Or she was probably all too glad to comply, considering, again, this is just her pattern. Delighton's attorneys claim that Harris's office colluded with prominent abortion providers by giving them the footage seized during the raid of Delighton's apartment. As Attorney General, Harris took the unprecedented step of charging Delighton with violating a state eavesdropping law. Wow. (laughs) Uh, In 2017, California Attorney General uh, Xavier Becerra, you know his name, uh, who replaced Harris, charged Delighton over his criminal recording of confidential conversations. Nine years after the videos were released, Delighton is still awaiting trial on the felony counts in San Francisco Superior Court. Mm, The process is the punishment. Kamala Harris knows that. Uh, Here's what David Delighton has said about this. He commented on her campaign in 2020 when she was trying to run for president. He said, Kamala Harris decided to target me and make me the first and only case of a criminal enforcement of the California video recording law. 
Kamala Harris sent 11 California DOJ agents into my one-bedroom apartment in Southern California to raid my home to seize the means of publishing the videos. They took the means of publishing speech critical of Planned Parenthood and critical of Kamala Harris's public patrons. That's it, right? He's got it. Everyone should be afraid of Kamala Harris's radical disrespect and contempt for the First Amendment delight and stressed. You think... That if she would do that as attorney general of California, that she wouldn't do that as president of the United States. Think about the implications that has for you and your free speech. What will Kamala Harris not allow you to be critical of? Will you be allowed to report the truth about Planned Parenthood or other abortion providers or any of the institutions that patronize her? that have hoisted her up? Or will she send authorities, not state authorities, but federal authorities to your house? Again, that's who Kamala Harris is. And she never investigated Planned Parenthood to see if this was even true, that they were trafficking dead baby body parts in a pay-for-play scheme in the state of California. That's Kamala Harris.